And now on to another health topic, mental illness and marijuana. Research is in its infancy, and so far the results are mixed. Medical marijuana is not legal in our state, but Wyoming Normal would like that to change. Normal activist Rose Kane shares her personal story of recovery with our Orlando Jacinto. Rose, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Can you please tell me a bit about yourself? Um, I'm 54. I'm a mother of five, grandmother of three. Um, I own a couple businesses in Rollins. Um, I've been sick um, since 1998. Um, I was misdiagnosed for 15 years with, uh, I have Lyme disease. And um, because I was misdiagnosed for 15 years, I've developed small fiber neuropathy, large fiber neuropathy, Hashimoto's disease, Sjogren's disease, and lupus. And um, because of those chronic illnesses, I have chronic pain, I get chronic stress, which causes chronic depression. And at, oh, two years ago, I was at a point in my life where life wasn't worth living. And so my family um, started doing research, and they come across marijuana being something that helps with neuropathy pain. And so we went to Colorado and tried it, and it worked. And so it took me about six months to get off all of my pharmaceutical drugs that I had been on. And um, the marijuana helped with my, um, my pain, which helped with my depression, because I was at a point where I had asked my husband to, help me kill myself and so it, it works with our own natural um, in, in endocannabinoids which is our own natural system we have cannabinoids that are similar to what's in cannabis and so they interact and they link together and they help with depression and pain. How did you decide that marijuana was the right drug for your illness? Um, because of the side effects there were there were none. I've, I've used um, Neurontin, Cymbalta, Amitriptyline, just about everything that's out there for neuropathy. And um, they all had side effects. Um, and with the marijuana, the only side effect I have is I sleep, which is something I hadn't, hadn't done for years. And so that's the only side effect I've had. Why did it take six months for you to get off the pharmaceuticals? Because um, they're addicting, very addicting. And when you start to come off of um, the pharmaceuticals, your body starts to crave them more, thus creating more pain. And so, and you have to be very careful because it, it can, they can hurt you. It can put you in the hospital if you come off of it too fast. Um, so it, it took me that long. But there's a general perception in society that there are side effects to using marijuana. I haven't had any. I mean, other than getting my life back. Um, you know, the anxiety would be a side effect that some people, um, if they take too much THC, um, can, can cause anxiety. Um, but other than that, I have not, I've experienced no side effects. Did you find comfort in the fact that in Colorado, you don't have to break the law for your medicine? Yes. Um, there was one point where I used um, street marijuana. Um, it's so inconsistent. Um, it's not something I would recommend to anybody who wants any kind of pain relief or is looking for um, cannabis to help them with their um, illnesses. What is the difference between street marijuana and medical marijuana? Medical marijuana, even, even the recreational side in Colorado, they break out how much THC is in each portion or how many CBDs or CBDNs, all the different compounds. Street marijuana, you're not sure what's in it. You don't know if it's indica or stevia. It, indica is the kind that gives you a body relaxation, which is what I use to help me sleep. Um, and sativa gives you that head high. Um, and I think most street marijuana is probably the head high because that's what most people want. And so it's just, and you never know what's in it. You don't know if they've added something to it. So it's street marijuana is not something I recommend anybody use. So what is the cost for your medicine? Um, because I have to go out of, to Colorado to get mine, and I, I go just about weekly. Um, so you got the travel expense hotels. Um, the average 10 milligrams of THC is about... Um, I think it's right around four dollars. So an average candy bar is twenty bucks, and plus the sales tax of 
like 22%. So um, it's expensive it, for me because I have to buy it recreationally because I don't have a medical marijuana card to, to purchase on the medical side in Colorado. Um, so it's quite a bit more expensive. And you have to pay for lodging in Colorado? I do, because I, when I go, I don't sleep without my marijuana, so I don't sleep when I'm at home. So when I go to Colorado, I always spend the night just so I can get at least two or three days of, or, or, of nights of sleep, eight hours anyways. So there's a perception that marijuana is a gateway drug, addictive, and that it destroys lives. Uh, Does it? it? Marijuana saved my life. Like I said, I was at the point where I had asked my husband to kill me, or to help me kill myself. I had three or four different ways lined up. Um, I had joined the Hemlock Society in Oregon because they, they suggest ways to how you can do it without creating a mess. And so, um, this was a moral and ethical dilemma for you. Yes, it was very much. Um, I come from a very religious family and so, um, I still have some family members mad at me, but they're getting over it. Um, when you teach your kids, and I have five of them, my oldest is 30, for years I taught them alcohol, drugs, no good, it will ruin your life. And then they see me doing it, then it was, it was really hard, it was a hard choice to make, but I'm, I'm glad I did it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.